Good day, Antigua antagonist, Simon Silence, and we're on the air with more StarCraft. It's episode four of StarCraft. Thanks for tuning in as we take you to a cutscene above Antigua Prime, where we were last time out helping the Antigua Prime rebels. That is a battle cruiser being surrounded by things that are decidedly not battle cruisers. Appear to be some sort of Zerg flyers. Not particularly familiar with. They've taken down that battle cruiser quite quickly. NORAD 2, secret staging area, Antigua Prime Colony. That is our mission. It appears that the Confederates are in a state of panic about the Antiguan revolt. I'm picking up a high number of Confederate transmissions going back and forth between their outposts and their headquarters on Tarsonis. Most of the transmissions are heavily coded. But wait, here's something. There's a General Duke calling from Alpha Squadron flagship NORAD 2. We've crash landed and are being hit hard by the Zerg. Request immediate backup from anyone receiving this signal. Repeat, this is a priority one distress call. Zerg? Here? <sighs> Serves them right. About time they got a taste of what it's like to be in there mixing it up. Jim, I want you to move in and save that base. I'm positive I didn't hear that right. Arcturus, have you lost your mind? Listen, I know Duke's a cold-hearted bastard, but an entire colony shouldn't have to suffer for that. Besides, a Confederate general could prove to be a powerful ally. This is an opportunity we cannot miss. I don't like this at all. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm asking you to do it. Yes, sir. Great. Let's get this over with. If he could be turned, he could be a powerful ally. Or no, if he could be turned, he could be a powerful asset. A little Darth Vader going on there, Arcturus, don't you think, don't you think? Mission 6, NORAD 2, on the way. Terran dropships ferry units quickly between areas. Yep, no, we learned that last time out. As we used some drop ships. Now what are our objectives? Oh, it's bring... Oh, Rainer and two drop ships. Protect that and Jimmy must live. I missed the bring Rainer and two drop ships to the Norad 2. I get the feeling that isn't going to be... This is Jimmy. ...as easy as it looks. Oh, Hydra's, Ling's, Hydra's, Ling's. Yes, sir. Those ones shooting were the Hydra Lisks and the other ones were... Uh, we've got 75, uh, we've got 75 minerals with which to repair. So, oh, we found our, that's all we had to do was just kind of pop over here to find our base. A Terran building with hit points in the red will burn down unless it is repaired. Okay, well, you repair that one, you repair that one. That's an eBay, that's a bunker. That's an empty bunker. You guys go in there. Oh, you're coming from a long way out. Orders? I want you to mine. Nope. We gotta hurry. That ship won't last long against those Zerg. Can we mine? Oh, we can uh, order these guys around. This is on fire. That's on fire. That's on fire. And we've run out of minerals. Which is a problem, and we've got... So, beacon, I'm guessing we have to get there. This thing is not losing health, but at the same time, we don't want to take that chance. And, uh, oh yeah, it took me out in the middle of... ...of what I was otherwise doing. Jimmy, move over here. So... Not enough minerals. Man, I've wasted all my minerals, we gotta wait on this. So we're going to macro up for a little bit. We've got three bunkers. We've got a Rax. And eBay, we don't have a starport or a factory. I was thinking, we got to get two dropships, right? But I get the feeling that there are spore, cra uh, spore crawlers. Yeah, that's what they are in StarCraft. They are in StarCraft 2 anyway. There are a bunch of spore crawlers that are going to shoot it down anything over this path. So I get the feeling... 
we got to go through and uh, take out any sort of uh, resistance in the way. And there will probably be considerable resistance. So we've got to at least kind of work like, everything that's a straight shot between our base here and the NORAD 2 here. No. Need a little more minerals. Just one. Just one more. Just one more delivery. There, straight on to the next one. So, over this stretch here, we got to take out a bunch, probably a bunch of spore crawlers, and that lets us take a drop, two drop ships below Jimmy and a drop ship, and put it over there. It should be reasonably straightforward. Should be. A little more, uh, a little more there. And so that'll finish fixing it. Insufficient Vespine gas. Interesting. So, because this thing has some gas, we need to also mine some Vespine in order to repair it. Interesting. The old, uh, the old battle cruiser. And everyone is off mining off for the moment, unless I'm missing something. We're gonna, once we get up to 100 minerals and we, uh, get some steady income going, we'll get that geyser down fast. Because I'm thinking, last time out, we did mostly air. Let's be honest, it was a heavy wraith composition. The last big macro one we did before that, it was a very heavy bio build. Marines and fire bats. So this time out, I'd like to go mech, but if we, you know, if we've got goliaths out, I was going to say, but if we've only got vultures, we aren't going to get very far, but no, we've got goliaths. I'd like to get some... Siege tanks out because siege tanks are OP forever and always. So, hopefully, we can get some siege tanks out on the field as well. But we do need, for sure, for sure, we need to get on some gas. And you're going to start getting on gas. Those things just popped in out of nowhere. And I. Oh, no, I have not lost. But I have lost... Oh no! That was bad. Somebody dropped a fungal. On my Goliaths. And I need... Oh, now I need Vespine. To rep... To repair these, uh... To repair the Goliaths. That's gonna be a problem. All right. Well, that held off that little uh, that little Zerg incursion there. May want to think about loading a couple of Marines up into this bunker here. That's going to be a problem. They're just going to come from every which direction. But I guess we're going to need to protect the mineral line as well. But right now I've got three SCVs on gas, and it is keeping a steady stream of gas in. So I think we're good on three for the moment. Meanwhile, we've also... ...been slowly but surely repairing that up. We've got those repaired up. Could use some more, uh, more Marines over there for the bunkers, but... It'll do in a pinch. So now, I think with that in mind, what we're going to do is what I'd like to do. Let's get a second racks up. And then what we will try and do... Where's that coming from? Ah, okay. Might need some more bunkers. He's gotten lost in the trees. I've heard of not being able to see the forest for the trees, but that might be a bit ridiculous. But what we're going to want to do is probably add another bunker. Maybe one there, maybe one there. I'm doing this in other extra racks. But what I'm thinking... But what I'd like to do is drop a factory. Of course, factory... Oh, no, I might want to do an armor... An academy, rather. Not an army, an academy. Actually, drop me a depot. 
I'm just all over the place. I am literally all over the place right now. I wanted to do about five things at once. So drop the academy over there. He's finished up. And we got that supply depot. I'm just, I'm literally trying to be in both five places at once. Let's try and get an upgrade. We've got the gas coming in at a good clip. The problem is we got nothing to spend gas on. Hopefully we can keep SCVing up. We've got a little strike force going here at the very least. Now the question is, where do I want? Can I lift this off? No, I can't because I'm in the middle of an upgrade. So I'd like to move that back and add a second bunker there, or an extra bunker there, but what we can do is we could put a bunker there. And you, as soon as you're done with that, that was conveniently time. Let's get a factory down. Somewhere in amongst the trees. Probably right around there. Now we oh we can get some fire bats out as well. That upgrade is still going. There's no one over here, so let's just get or they're trying to run around this way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna. So they're just coming in from every which direction. Oh, mutas! I can't see from where, but there were mutalisks coming up. up My god, they're coming from every which direction. So we might need we might need bunkers just all over the damn place. Now which jobs finished was that? You. That was this job's finish. Now, Goliath requires armory. So build a machine shop there. So just gotta lift it up a little bit. We gotta drop an armory back here. So that way we can get going with that. Uh, Firebat, Firebat, because we need to Man, this is getting this is getting tricky because there's dudes that are just gonna end up all over the damn place. Unload that, but I want you to go over here. Actually, no. You go there. It's, oh, we've already got a fire bat in there, so I want you to go in here as the extra fire bat. And. So now, let's build a vulture. We'll just move everything up to here, rally it up to here, and I want you to build another factory over here. You got my attention. You got my attention, my upgrade complete. So we got an upgrade going. Let's get the increased attack range. Uh, right. Weapons plus one. On? Uh-oh. We've got a problem. <laughs> He's trapped by the tree. Can we if we if we rally you out this way, can you can you get out without running into the tree? Probably not. We're going to <laughs> we're gonna to need to drop a starport. I need an SCV to build starport. Okay, so we can lift this off. And so we may Actually, we could probably lift it off. Let's see what this other guy does first. And okay, see, the Goliath rallied out the right way. Let's make sure the ha same happens for the Vulture. Meanwhile... Just guys, they're ha coming every which way. We lift this off so you can get... Oh, 
All right, so what we'll do is we'll land with the machine shop. There. So that way there's room for everyone to get out of the way. <laughs> so. Mechville didn't go as well as I'd hoped. <laughs> Mostly my own doing. Get that extra bunker down. No, oh, yeah, and I'm building vultures. I don't need to build vultures. What I need to do... That, that is still up, upgrading. Oh, I have to land the eBay. We'll land the eBay over there. Now, what job just finished? Oh, the bunker. There we go. Now... Get back on... Oh, well, you may as well go over here. Might need another bunker over here. Oh, Overlord. Maybe they're doing drop... A little drop play. Go Goliath, so that way we can... So now, what, we're, what I want to do is bring the mech up here. Research complete. So we can go with the, that mech comp. Alright. Upgrade's done. So I think it's time for us to take the mech comp. After all this time. The mech comp. It's about to go forward into a... Don't call it a spine crawler. What is it? A sunken colony. Another sunken. What's that one? A spore colony. So it's not... So just take out everything. So the spore... It's similar to a spore crawler. Oh, there. That went well. Another overlord. That's going to get shot down. And my, uh, okay, so my mech force has gone and shrunk by about half size. Don't do too well up against, against Sunkins, it would seem. Or Lings, or whatever the hell that fungled me was, or, or, or. Or Hydralisks, did I mention that? So, can we, can we finish off that? Yep, no, we cannot finish off that Hydra. Alright. Didn't go as well as I'd hoped. We have a sizable bioforce in the back here to help out. Um, well, at least ones that aren't in a bunker anyway. So, it's a start. Didn't go as well as I'd hoped. Our upgrade, like our upgrades are, are going okay. We just got the starport down, but we need the control tower. There, in order to build my two drop ships that I need. But unfortunately, the uh, initial push that I wanted to make, eh, not 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 so much. Not that I'm giving up on my. Uh, not that I'm giving up on my mech dreams, but I figure. But I figure, you know what, let's, if we're going to go mech, we should at the very least, you know, attempt to, we got to make a push somehow, some way. I don't know whether I should be pushing into, whether I should be pushing into this uh, hive cluster. Because it could be trouble, but on the same, at the same time, one. I'm sure you guys wouldn't mind a little more aggressive fun. Oh, let's get the Hydra. We'll take out the uh, Overlord. Take down the Hydra. Oh, base is under attack as well. Well, it was under attack. We'll uh, move the rest of the mech up front. Muta's coming in. How can I tell? 
because we were uh Oh, that looks unfriendly. What is that? A queen? A queen? Oh, that can't be it. Because that can't be a queen. I'm going to try and take down... Oh, layer tech. We've uh, offended some links. Maybe uh, going after the layer wasn't the best idea I ever had. It certainly didn't help us get any closer to there. Speaking of which... Now we're running low. We're running very low on minerals there. That could be problematic very quickly. Orders, Orders received. Well, we probably don't need the extra supply depot, but we got the minerals. So we're gonna drop. Just keep ordering stuff up, I'm hoping for the best. But at the same time, it's like, ah. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what's all around us. Is this going to help us any? Oh, that's up above there. Oh! So there is. Oh, that's bad. Mutalisks. Okay, so there's another hive cluster over there. There's a hive cluster over there. And so, we could do some long-range mining. It's possible. Okay. And vultures do not do well against hydrolisks. Okay, lesson learned. So, our Vespine is depleted, so we are probably going to want to go... We're going to want to go vulture heavy, because... We're running low on Vespine. I mean, we could keep going with it. But we're also over oh, basically out of minerals as well. Not good. We are in rough shape. So you want a piece of me, boy? Acknowledge So we might just want to take something resembling a balanced strike squad heading north. No disrespect to the vultures, but I think this Ooh, no, I do not want to. I must have hit the wrong one. Cancel. Wrong hotkey. Very wrong hotkey. So what we're going to do is we're gonna avoid the hive cluster. Hopefully, it is subject to the same rules of reasonability as uh, we are. In that, uh, if they don't have any gas mining, that they aren't going to be, you know, mining any gas, you know. Yeah. So without an extractor. Oh, so there's a. Uh, we'll take out the mutalisk. Those things are a little worrisome. So just keep slowly but surely a moving around. Oh, there's a ramp there. So we want to go up the ramp. Oh, into the sunken. Let's rally everyone over to here. No problem. May want to run a second. Uh, and we're running low on everything. So. These guys are coming in from. Where the bloody ever. Alright, so now. Now you guys can push into the sunken. Now you can push into the sunken. Take it out quick. And then push into the second sunken. If this is what we have to get to to get to General Duke. It's going to be a long and painful journey. Uh, see, I was... Oh, no. All these damned sunkens! It's like walking into a damn field. Well, it is, it is functionally walking into a damn field. Of, uh, and it's not bleeding out. It's actually healing up because it's on creep, and that's what Zerg units do on creep. They heal up on creep. Okay, so. Now we're in some trouble. 
Um. Hmm. Oh, we can build a commsat station, which is, uh, for scanning, I think. And the question is, is whether it's going to be better to do long-range mining. Base is under attack. So now... Crap. Now, now it's decision time. Do we want to build a second CC? Over here. Solely for the purpose of mining. And hope for the best. May as well. Drop that and start bringing... I was going to say, apart from the guys that are coming in on the strike squad. So you... Come over here. You guys come up here. Now we've got a defensive team. Alright, so we got some people loaded into that bunker. We've got Alpha Strike Team. Named largely because that's what we're what we want them to do. So we don't want uh, that to be our four, we want that to be our four. Now we want all of you, all 13 of you, apparently, just start mining. Hopefully. What do you want? What do I, I'm, I'm in charge here, damn it. Vultures are so, these vulture guys, they're just so demanding. Now, okay, that's probably a good thing I came over here because it's also important to take out all these spores if we want to have a chance of getting Jiminy around. On your mind. I was right, there were going to be spores, there were going to be. So. Take out the queen. Take out the spore. This other spore. Meanwhile, we've got some mining going on over here, which is good. Because we can get that going. We can get some more vultures going. Oh, you. Poor you. Uh, what you could do is you could build a... Ref Oops. No, we don't want a turret. Well, we probably do want a turret. Actually, it's not a bad idea. Get that turret going. Yeah. Oh, is that it? And now we'll take out... Take out this sunken. Those things are... Oh, take out the other sunken. Take out the other sunken. No, take out the things. Oh my god, take out everything. So now we're out of... Now we're out of mech. This was supposed to be a mech... mech. This is supposed to be a mech map. For no other reason than I decided it was. Base is under you gotta pull you off of the off of there and get to that there. Commander, rock and roll. Outstanding. Go, go, go. Well, the good news is we found the front door to General Duke. The bad news is. There's still sunk in there. That means we can't get out. Look at that eye. What a freaky eye. Well, that, that strike team fared slightly better than the first. Alright, so now, taking care of this sunken this time, hopefully. With this, or what is left of this hit squad. There we go. 
Good fire bat. Oh god, to hell with... To hell with that sunken. What we need to do is clear out this side. So that way, what we can do... And hopefully there aren't any sunkens over here. But there are... Scourge! Tiny little Zerg flyers that... Hopefully... Aren't gonna bug us too much. Oh no, never mind. Speaking of bugging us, it's another sunken! But look at all the spore crawlers! Things that shoot up. I need things that shoot up, and I need things that shoot up. Shoot up quite badly. The good news is... Okay, they got the Muta. So, can we get the Scourge? Since they can't shoot down. How are these ones coming? Give me another one. Give me another one of each. All right. Those two are slowly whittling away at spore colonies, which is good because I need to take out a lot of them if I'm going to get a flyer. Actually, we could probably just come up and, well, no, we saw the missile turrets have, like, massive range. So we want to be careful with how much we, how much leeway we give them. Take these two, and we'll take that. That upgrade, by the way, is going to be the hull plating for dropships, just in case we need it. Oh, uh, no, they're still there. Now they are well within range of... Well, they're well in the range of everything, so... Go ahead, TACOM. Comlink online. Go ahead, but what we're... What I'm gonna do... Is we're gonna go to... Oh, no, that's... No, no. There's a very fine... Fine gap that we have to feather there. So where? Right there. So now we just gotta feather a gap and hope. Ah, look at that. Nope. 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 There, that's one. Now, what we need is the second one. Where did Jimmy go? Pick up Jimmy. And what we can do is we can pick up Jimmy and this one by going via the lovely path that our boys our boys have cleared a path here. You're about the last folks I expected to show up. What's your angle here? Our angle? I'll give you an angle, you slimy confederate piece of sh Jim, enough. I'll handle this. The confederacy has fallen apart, Duke. Its colonies are in open revolt. The Zerg are rampaging unchecked. What would have happened here today if we hadn't shown up? Your point. I'm giving you a choice. You can return to the Confederacy and lose, or you can join us and help save our entire race from being overrun by the Zerg. I don't think it's a difficult decision. Join forces with you? I'm a general, for God's sake. A general without an army. I'm offering you a position in my cabinet, not just some backwater post. Don't test my patience, Edmund. All right, Mengsk. You got a deal. You've made the right choice, General Duke. I can't believe you're really gonna trust this snake. Don't worry, Jim. 
He's our snake now. Did not take a lot of convincing for General Duke to switch sides. He's a general, for God's sake. Oh, wait a minute. Cabinet post sold! People will sell out very quickly for power, I suppose. Took a while. Oh, you're up to, against two Zerg swarms there. Took a while for us to get to where we needed to go with that one. But uh, there was a lot of... Uh, mech strategy didn't work. I tried it, it just, I, I just don't think... Uh, we, we saw the demonstration of the 1v1 Hydralisk and Vulture. It just didn't work, so it needed to be... I should have gone Bio. I think I would have been done a lot faster if I had just committed to Bio, because you could pump it out a lot faster. And I wouldn't have had to worry about Mineral... Well, would I have? Well, yeah, because they're, they're cheaper units, the Bio. You can pump them out faster, they're cheaper units. I would have dropped, like, you know, three, four racks instead of two racks and two factories. I mean, the one starport's all I needed to pump out a couple of, um, a couple of uh, dropships. So, it worked out in the end, but that was a suboptimal strategy. So, for some inexplicable reason, you're coming to me looking for, uh, for strategy. I, I would say you want to go bio-heavy on this one. But, uh, I, I think if I had tanks, it would have been a lot different. I think tanks would have made a difference here. I don't think it matters whether you play SC1 or SC2. Tanks are always the right call to go with, unless some, you have to shoot up. Which is why we had the Goliaths, is shoot up. But we'll see next time out. I don't know what we're going to get into next time out. Maybe it'll be mech friendly. I'm hoping. Eventually, I want to just like mass siege tank and mass Goliath. Maybe siege tank marine push. Siege tank wraith push. Siege tank something push just across the map. In a giant wall of death. Don't even have to siege them. They're pretty good. Uh, I watched the Day 9 videos very early on when he was talking about, like, the introduction to StarCraft Brood War. It was very early on. It was like, siege tanks are great. You don't even have to siege them. If you got more, if you got as many siege tanks as the Zerg, or the, not the Zerg, the Protoss has Dragoons, you're in good shape. We haven't met the Protoss in battle yet. That's got to come up before the end of this campaign, right? We're six missions in. I think there's, I read there's ten missions in the campaign. So somewhere in those last four, I figure we got to run into the Protoss at some point. We've, we've done TVT, we've done TVC, we need to do TVP as well. It's, it's the part that's missing. So hopefully we will get to that soon, I guess, but we'll find out next time on StarCraft, so until then, I'm on silent. thanks very much for joining me, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, share on social media, follow on social media, the social media handle is unsilent on air, and that's for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr, and don't forget you can check out more StarCraft in the playlist, it's on the screen, in the description down below, and more videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.